Welcome back. Here we have a new job coming along, just arrived. And uh, we're gonna do a head gasket swap on that thing. Let's pull it off the trailer and uh, pull the heads. Sounds easy, but it's not. So the job is actually pulling the cylinder heads, um, inspecting what's how, this, how the heads are looking. Uh, we're not going to do a full engine overhaul. Uh, it's only changing the cylinder head gaskets because there is one, at least one, is leaking. And uh, at the same time, we're going to inspect how the engine looks in total. Uh, it's got quite a few miles, so we don't really know what's going on. Again, this is not a full engine overhaul. We'll see what we find. So we strip the rubble out, uh, the small bits, and then we're going to pull the right hand side cylinder head first, because uh, that's probably the most problematic one. We'll come back when we have more bits out here. So we got it mostly naked here. So what we're going to do now is finding the the link of the cam chain, and uh, because you can't get there, we're going to pack up the rear and just turn it over. That's the next shop, and then we're going to pull the head. Uh, distributor needs to come off first. All right. So we got cylinder one TDC, which is here and here. And on the distributor, it's someone put a mark on here. And now we split the chain, it's loose, and pull the head, which is probably a bit of fun. Just pulling the head bolts, but uh, you need a very special tool for that, otherwise, you can't get to the Let's we had to check up the engine a little bit. Uh, we actually loosened the bolts on the engine mount and just put a chuck under the engine uh, because you need some clearance. You need some clearance to get first to get here and second to pull the heads. And you need the homemade special tool and you need that tool. Without that, you lose, there's no way. Okay. We got the bastard off and uh, obviously before you pull the head, secure the ends of your chain, it's a split chain. Uh, it's a split chain, uh, you're gonna secure it otherwise it goes down and you can't find it anymore. Um, It was leaking here, and I think it was leaking here as well. Oh, oil. Exhaust gasket. You just trashed an exhaust gasket. Oh, we got new ones. I got new ones. What's this? <laughs> Oh, all right, okay. That was a field repair, maybe. I think it was leaking here, and most likely here as well. Look at that. Oh no, that's maybe not. Just pull the gasket. It doesn't look very good here. I think it was 
He was leaking somewhere here. But yeah, you can see the the red here. Uh, here. What's that red stuff here? Ah, sealant. Yep. Right. Okay. Let's pull that thing. And that's how it looks like without. We've got a few issues. Uh, it looks like the surface wasn't well prepared when it was done of several years ago. We don't know exactly. We got some weird pitting on the cylinder number four. I don't know if it's visible. But uh, it almost looks like the cylinder was leaking and fluid was leaking into the cylinder and it was uh, it's actually some rust groove. Alright, let's look at the underside. So here we have it. We need to suck the oil out, out of if you turn it around it's a mess. Apparently this was <laughs> leaking, there is a, a gasket here and this thing is very hard to get off. So someone tried to fix that with silicon. Um, doesn't look very professional, but it was still leaking. Alright, so we're going to pull the cam because we can do the, the shaft seals and uh, all the bath stem seals and uh, then we turn it around and have a look maybe we find some other surprises so that's the end side we have some clear evidence of leaking here we'll check the flatness once we got all of the gasket material off and, uh, it looks like it's been skimmed down to what you can do. <laughs> There's no room left for any more machining. So hopefully it's flat. So we got it fairly clean, but we're a bit concerned. The overall height should be 120 something. And we have 119.5. There is a lot of machining done on this head. Uh, we have cracks between the plug on the exhaust valve I don't know if it's visible you can see some cracks here uh, this one has been welded a while ago or the previous owner did that we have cracks here but we decided not to do anything because um, it's so dirty and the head is pretty much trash as well because the bearing surfaces are not very good you can bore them yeah but um, we'd rather look for another one the the valve stick out here is about 1.5 millimeters um, which is checking the compression height on the pistons and uh, see where we are We cleaned all the silicon rubbish off that one. Still a little bit on, but uh, all the black one, all the black stuff is gone. There is a cone-shaped gasket here, like an O-ring, just a cone-shaped one. Uh, we don't have this one, so we keep that. There's no oil pressure. It's just this gasket has to be good. <coughs> on the old one, there was fragments of the cra of the gasket, so it was out, and uh, then they put it back on with the old gasket. Uh, in bits, so that's the reason for all that black silicon. Someone messed around, I don't know. Um, yeah, the, the cam bearings, they don't know if it's visible, but they got a little bit of scoring here. Um, the engine is due for an overhaul anyway at some point, so we do we make the best of it. So we got the intakes off because otherwise, you can't get there with a valve clamp uh, because we need to do the valve stem seals all right we're just checking the we're just checking the camshaft and there is quite a bit of yeah wear just checking the diameter we'll see what we find just checking the bearing clearance with plastic gauge and uh, what you do it's a it's one of these little strings here and uh, Put a bearing on, torque it down to the right spec, and then you just measure with this gauge here. And that tells us we got about 
something clearance. A bit more here actually. That's more than this one. Here's more. That's what I've measured. Mm. This was fine. And here is a bit more. Anyway, uh, we'll do the other ones and then we'll see what we find. I'm not very convinced that this is going to be any good. That's the, that's another one and uh, you can see there's a lot less clearance. I would say it's about 0 0.0, are we on millimeters? 0 0.05. 0.045, 4.5 hundreds, that's what it looks like, so that's the uh, second bearing. This one is actually a bad example, as you can see here, we've got nothing here, we've got some something here, which is about the same as over here, but uh, I'll show the full process now. We take one of these strips. That one a hole is, that one got a hole as well, yeah. There's a hole inside so we need to go a little, little bit offset. And then just push it on, torque it to spec. Okay. 